Hi, I'm Josh Davey with Davey Coach, and today we are here to do a video walk around of our new Vanterra XLT product. This is a bus built by Turtle Top. Uh, they've been building it since about 1999, 2000, right in there. It's been a staple uh, of both our leasing fleet as well as uh, retail product that we sell to end users and customers. It's the first time it's gotten a facelift or a new body style redesign in close to 20 years, so we want to take a minute to walk around and show you some of the new highlights and features of the product, as well as touch on some of the stuff that has just made it a great vehicle in the industry for, for coming up on two decades now. Exterior of the bus, just a couple things to point out. We've got what we call an elite bonded window here, square glass, uh, very thin seams in between the windows, so it looks like just a big square piece of glass as we go down the side of the bus. Very nice aesthetic option. We've got some opera lighting on the exterior of the bus here as well. Uh, the exterior keyed switch. We can insert a uh, Kubota key and we open and close the entrance doors from the outside of the bus. So this is a really nice feature. Uh, you don't need to have the bus running in order for you to open and close it. It's uh, something that can be advantageous if you ever lock yourself out of a bus, which I have done on many occasions, or if you just want to give a little bit more personalized greeting to your customers or, or uh, clients when they're getting onto the vehicle. Really, really low ground to first step with this product. It's under 10 inches. It's one of the lowest in the industry. Uh, I'm going to roll on in inside here. We've got grab rails on the left and right hand sides of the entrance door. Uh, just real quick too on the running board on both sides of the vehicle we've got LED lights so this is just something that when the doors open and close uh, we turn the vehicle off just a second ago so this is still on but um, just gives a little bit more illumination to that step area for people getting in and out of the driver and co-pilot seats let's check out the inside of the vehicle all right, we're going to check out the cockpit. This is where the driver and the co-pilot seat are located. This bus in particular has got a midship beverage center. Uh, it's got an ice chest in the bottom here with a drain plug that goes out the bottom of the vehicle. So you pack this up with ice, uh, load it with water bottles, and as the ice melts, it just drains right out the bottom of the vehicle. You don't have to worry about bailing it out after the fact, which is convenient. You've got some cup holders, a little trash can. Uh, if you don't like this option, we can redesign this and make it more shallow to be kind of a catch-all for keys, phones, wallets, that kind of thing. Uh, this is also a spring-loaded cup dispenser. Uh, we put drip spout coffee thermos pots in here. Uh, we've put additional trash receptacle. This is a very customizable area, so we can really custom tailor it to give you whatever you're looking for. Uh, we've got a nice LED light strip up here. It illuminates the driver area. Um, these are your controls for the passenger features in the back of the bus. So we've got an entrance door switch as labeled that opens and closes the door. It's a monetary switch, so we've got to hold that down in order to make it do its thing and open and close respectively. Center dome and side dome lights turn on the center aisle lights and then the side dome lights in the back of the bus. And we've got an indirect feature in this bus is some soft uh, mood lighting in the back of the vehicle. And we can turn that off there as well. These are your air conditioning controls. Uh, we have a heat strip incorporated into the rear AC unit for this bus. So we're able to take the heater off the floor with that function and the heat distributes out of the same ventilation system as the air conditioning. So you get a lot more even distribution as opposed to someone just sitting on one hot box in the middle of the bus. Passengers next to the door are cold. Passengers on top of the heater are hot. It's a power struggle that goes back and forth. So it's a couple hundred dollars, but this really is a nice optional upgrade feature. And then we've got power locking uh, rear door feature here as well. So we can lock and unlock the rear door from the driver's seat. This is our backup camera monitor. This vehicle not only has a backup camera, but it also has left and right hand or driver and co-pilot side blind spot mirrors. So when I engage a turn signal to go left in the bus or transition into the left turn lane, I'll get an image of the left hand blind spot of the bus. I'm about to uh, chain, transition into that lane. And likewise, when we do the, uh, the other direction and put our turn signal on that way, the camera will engage on the driver's side of the bus. We've got heated remote control mirrors over in the driver area here. And other than that, it's, it's pretty basic cruise control, stereo function features, and driver's dash uh, climate control system, which everybody should be pretty familiar with at this point if they've been in a Ford in the last 20 years or so. Uh, let's jump back and take a look in the back of the bus. We can finish the back of one of these with virtually any level of fit and finish that you're looking for. This is very much an upper echelon executive style vehicle. Starting from the ground up with the flooring, this is a manor oak uh, color simulated wood floor 
It's uh, coved on the side walls of the, the bus on the interior here. Normally this carpet would run all the way down to the bottom of the floor. We've gone ahead and rolled the flooring up the side wall. There's no seam there for water to penetrate. Keeps the inside of the vehicle a lot easier to clean and you don't get a locker room smell going on as the vehicle progressively ages with water penetration going on there. These are Premier seats. This is their Euro light model. It is hands down a luxury seat of choice in the industry. Uh, level 5 O vinyl, so it's a simulated leather. And we've got a two-tone package going on here with the floor color that we ordered in this bus. We've got a, a, a secondary contrasting color of stitching that matches the piping that we've got on the side. Those two tie in really well together. We've got fold-up armrests on the aisle and in the middle. One of the greatest features about this seat is it comes standard with an under seat retractor. It doesn't look like a lot to people, like this is a, the same style seat belt that I've got in my car. It's a pretty big upgrade for the bus industry. Typically a standard lot belt is going to live on the floor. You're going to step on them, kick them, trip on them. Uh, they look like they're 10 years old in the first 10 days that you've got the bus. Check out another video that we've got on our YouTube channel uh, that goes through the three different styles of seat belts that we've got for lap belts. But when we hit the release button on the male end of the uh, receptacle here, the seat belt just retracts back into itself and it's got a retractor on the bottom side of the seat housing. So a uh, very, very nice seat. On the bottom of the seat, we've got a USB port charge as well. It's got a little blue light on there, uh, just to kind of let you know where it is in the dark, but that's a nice feature. We've got those located strategically throughout the vehicle underneath this front seat and on the back, bottom of the seats as we work towards the back of the bus. Uh, this is your air conditioning evaporator in the rear. This is where your cold air is going to emanate from. It's also where your warm air is going to emanate from in this model because we moved the floor heater up into this house unit here. We have an emergency escape hatch in the back of the bus. This is an upgraded deluxe model. It's got a three position setting so we can pop this up. If we want to pull air in, we can push it up from the back if we want to suck some air out. And on a nice day like today here in Colorado, you can pop it up in the front and the back and it's going to get kind of the best of both worlds going on. So if you don't need to run the air conditioning system on high, if it's a nice day outside, you can do that. Obviously, this is also a point of emergency escape in the event that it's needed. This is required with a luggage compartment in the back of the bus as we've got in this model because our window or our door in the back of the bus is blocked and impeded by this rear luggage wall. So we've got to add this emergency escape point. We've also got emergency escape windows on both sides of the bus. Um, not every manufacturer in the industry, but these guys give you a red emergency light indicator as standard over every point of emergency exit in the vehicle. So we've got one on the right, one on the left. We've also got one on the entrance door there. So. Um, going just around the interior of the vehicle. That's about everything that there is to see here. Uh, this is all encompassed by a tubular steel cage construction. It's continuously welded. Uh, hands down, safest steel cage in the industry for my money. And we own a lot of these in our rental and leasing fleet. Uh, one more option. It's the last thing we'll cover on the interior. But it's unquestionably the first thing that you're going to see when you get into this thing is the nose cap window. The entire front nose cap of this bus is a scenic piece of glass. Um, just oh, It's a continuation of the windshield all the way to the roof line in the vehicle and there, it, it offers an unparalleled view for the riders in the back of the bus. Another big optional upgrade on the outside of this vehicle that's difficult to see from ground level and it's really easy to look past it, but we've relocated the fans for the air conditioning system in the back of the bus to the roof of the vehicle. Why on earth would we do that? Normally they're located on the skirt of the bus, on the driver's side, behind the driver's running bore and the driver's entrance door. It's a great spot for the fans to be abused by rocks, road grime, tar, um, snow and ice chunks, depending on what part of the country you're operating this bus in. But we get a lot of vehicles that come into our service department right away in the spring, which is right what we're on the cusp of right now, because they turn those AC fans on and there's so much gunk that they get hit with during the off season when they're not being utilized, that they, the, the gears in them seize and you blow your fans out and it's a, it's a appointment in our service department. 
Moreover, you get 15 to 20 degrees hotter air coming off of the pavement, which is what those fans are pulling in, and your AC system has to work that much harder to cool that air down before it blows it out into your passenger compartment. So if we move them up onto the top of the vehicle, it removes them from harm's way. You're going to have less field failure and less downtime, lower your maintenance expenses on the vehicle, and unquestionably, your system is going to operate more effectively and more efficiently. So in some of the hot parts of the country, that's a... a Awesome, awesome option to have. We're coming around the back side of the vehicle. This is a new uniformed look for Turtle Top. Obviously, the Vantera body style is new, which we're featuring today. But this tail end look with the brake light placement and the backup light placement is standardized across their entire family of vehicles at this point. So the Vantera all the way up to the Odyssey XL. We've got our backup camera up top. And we've got our rear luggage access door. This is a very, very, very nice upgrade on this vehicle and on all the turtle top buses that we bring in, whether they are wheelchair accessible doors or luggage doors, this is their Challenger door series. You've got striker pins, catches, and a very heavy duty hinge to go along with a heavy metal door. You can feel the weight of that when I close it, and you can hear it too. Most doors in the industry are pretty lightweight, and you've got a pivot handle that shoots a rod up into the top and bottom of the door frame area. This handle shears off constantly those rod holes if they're not lined up just right you see guys back here kind of monkeying around with the door trying to make it fit if it doesn't line up just right you'll never get the door closed this door is hands down for the money one of the one of the nicest options you can you can put on one of these vehicles which is why we do it every time the interior of the luggage compartment's got a continuation of that wood floor we've got chem light frp sidewalls here like something you'd see in a truck stop bathroom very very industrial very durable uh, can withstand the rigors of luggage being loaded and unloaded and slamming into that wall. And then there's lights in the back of the luggage compartment here as well, which are going to illuminate when the bus is running so that passengers' uh, bags can be easily identified by the driver who's loading and unloading things. Close that door one more time. So that concludes our walk around of the Turtle Top Vantera XLT featuring the brand new body style for the Vantera. Something that we're really excited about. First time we've seen it in 20 years. Get a facelift. Uh, we've got these available in black with the executive package inside. We've got them white with the executive package inside. We've got a uh, shorter single rear wheel version. This is a 23 foot model. We've got them all the way down to 19, 20 feet long. And we can put a wheelchair lift in them if you need to as well. So check us out online. Uh, we appreciate your business and thank you very much.